Section 5.2 Atomic Spectra and Energy Levels When the white light from the sun or a light bulb is passed through a prism or raindrops, it produces a continuous spectrum, like a rainbow. When atoms of elements are heated, they also produce light. At night, you have seen the yellow color of sodium street lamps or the red color of neon lights. Photons The light emitted when atoms are heated in the steam of particles is called photons. Each photon is a packet of energy that's known as a quantum. All pho photons travel at the speed of light as a wave of energy. We see that photons have both particle and wave characteristics. The energy of a photon is directly proportional to its frequency. Thus, high frequency photons have high energy and short wavelengths, whereas low frequency photons have low energy and long wavelengths. Photons play an important role in our modern world, particularly in the use of lasers, which is, uh, use a narrow range of wavelengths. For example, lasers use photons of a single frequency to read pits on compact disks and digital versatile, uh, versatile disks, or to scan barcodes or labels when we buy groceries. A CD is read by a laser with a wavelength of 780 nanometers. The newer DVDs are read by a blue laser, which has a wavelength of 405 nanometers and hence the name Blu-ray. The shorter wavelength allows a smaller pit size on the disc, which means that the disc has a greater storage capacity. In hospitals, high-density photons are used in treatments to reach tumors within tissues without dis damaging the surrounding tissue. Atomic Spectra When the light emitted from heated element is passed through a prism, it does not produce a continuous spectrum. Instead, an atomic spectrum is produced that consists of lines of different colors separated by dark areas. The separation of colors indicates that only a certain wavelength of light are produced and an element is heated, which gives the element a unique atomic spectrum. Barium light, passed through a prism, emits a barium light spectrum. Electron energy levels. Scientists have now determined that the lines of atomic spectra are associated with changes in the energies of electrons. In an atom, each electron has specific energy level which is assigned values called principal quantum numbers, n. n is equal to 1, 2, 3, etc. Generally, electrons in the lower energy level are closer to the nucleus while energy at the higher, uh, electrons in the higher energy levels are farther away. The energy of an electron is quantitized, which means that the energy of an electron can only have a specific energy values but cannot have values between them. So the principal quantum number, n, from the lowest energy to the highest, is 1 is less than 2 all the way to 7. As an analogy, we can think of the, the energy levels of an atom as similar to the shells of a bookcase. The first shell is the energy lo level shell, the second is the second energy level, and so on. If we're arranging books on the shelves, it would take less energy to fill the bottom first, and then the second shelf, and so on. However, we could never get, uh, get any book to stay in place between any of the shelves. Similarly, the energy of an electron must be in a specific energy level, not between. Unlike standard bookcases, however, there's a large difference between the energy of the first and the second energy levels, but then the, uh, then the higher energy levels are closer together. Another difference is that the lower energy levels hold fewer electrons than the higher energy levels. Change changes in energy levels. An energy can change, an electron can change from one energy level to a higher energy le level only if it absorbs the energy equal to the difference in energy levels. When an electron changes from a lower energy level it emits energy e when an electron changes to a lower energy level, it emits energy equal to the difference between the two energy levels. If the emitted is in the visible light range, we can see the colors of visible light. The yellow color of sodium street lamps and the red color of neon are examples of electrons emitting energy in the visible color range.